In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the future value of an annuity due. So let's look at this example problem. Karen deposits $100 each month into an annuity that pays a 6% annual interest at the end of each year. How much money will she have in this account at the end of five years? So what we need to do is calculate the future value of this annuity. So that's going to equal C times 1 plus R raised to the N minus 1 divided by R and then times 1 plus R. In this case, R is the interest rate that is paid on an annual basis. And because it's paid on an annual basis, we're going to use N as the number of years. So we have five time periods here. In that case, C would be the amount of money that she deposits on a yearly basis, since N is going to be based on years. Now, in this example problem, Karen deposits $100 each month. So how much money is she putting into this account every year? Well, we know that there's 12 months in a year. 100 times 12 is $1,200. So this is her yearly deposit that she's making. The interest rate is 6%, but you don't want to plug in 6 into the formula. You need to convert the percentage into a decimal. To do that, you can move the decimal point two units to the left, or you could divide it 6 by 100. 6 divided by 100 is 0 0.06. So that's 6% as a decimal. And we said that N in this example is the number of years, which in this case is five years. It's always good to make a list of the variables that you have and the variable that you're looking for. So now let's go ahead and plug in everything into this formula to calculate the future value of the account in five years. So it's going to be 1200 and then 1 plus r, that's 1 plus 0 0.06, which is 1.06 raised to the n, n is 5, divided by r, and then times 1 plus r. So that's going to be 1.06. So I'm going to work on the inside first. 1.06 raised to the fifth power is 1.33822578. Subtract that by 1, and then divide by 0 0.06. So you should get 5.6370926. So we're going to multiply that number by 1.06 and by 1200. So the future value of this account is $7,170.38. cents. So that's how you can calculate the future value of an annuity if you know the monthly deposits that are being made or even the annual deposits. Now, for the sake of understanding, let's find another way of getting the answer. So at the end of the first year, Karen would have deposited $1,200 into the account. And then after that, she's going to receive 6% interest on that money. To calculate what her account would be after receiving a deposit of, or after the account has been credited by 6%, multiply 1200 by 1 1.06. So at the end of the first year, her account is going to be $1,272. Now, on the next year, she's going to deposit another 1200 So if you add 1272 plus 1200 this is going to be the account value before she receives interest the second time. So at the end of the second year, her account will be credited with 6% interest. So 2472 times 1 1.06. So this is going to be 2000 six hundred twenty dollars and thirty two cents now at the beginning of the third year after she makes 
another annual deposit of 1200 so we're going to add 2620.32 plus 1200 so she's going to have three thousand eight hundred twenty dollars and thirty two cents now at the end of that year her account will be credited by six percent so let's multiply that number by 1.06 so she's going to have four thousand forty nine dollars and if you round it fifty four cents but let's use an exact figure for now now she's going to make another twelve hundred dollar deposit so at the beginning of the fourth year, her account will be $5,249.54. Multiplying that by 1.06, this is going to be $5,564.51. Now let's add $1,200 to that number. So we're at six thousand six, I mean six thousand seven hundred sixty-four dollars and fifty-one cents. And then let's multiply that by one point oh six. And that will give us our final answer of seven thousand one hundred seventy dollars and thirty-eight cents. So at least now you understand how this answer can be calculated using the formula and uh, using this process. Of course, this process is tedious, but at least you understand how this number can be uh, calculated. Now let's work on another problem that uses the same formula, but that asks for something different. So number two, Kristen wants to have $800,000 in an annuity by the time she retires 30 years from now. If the annuity pays a fixed annual interest of 5% at the end of each year, how much money should she deposit each month into this account for the next 30 years? So right now, in this problem, we know the future value of the annuity. 30 years from now, she wants to have $800,000 saved in this annuity. And she needs to figure out how much money she needs to put into this account every month so she can reach her target goal. The interest rate is 5% or 0 0.05. And the interest rate is being paid on an annual basis. So N is gonna represent the number of years, in this case, 30 years. So we need to calculate C. Because N is a yearly time period, C is gonna be the yearly deposit. Once we have C, we can divide it by 12 and calculate how much money she needs to deposit into this account on a monthly basis before the interest is paid at the end of the year. She wanna make sure that her annual deposit is in the account before the interest is credited to the account. So we need to calculate C in this problem. Let's begin by writing the formula. The future value is equal to the annual deposits times one plus R raised to the N minus one divided by R times one plus R. So the future value is 800,000. We need to calculate C, R is 0 0.05. So this is gonna be 1.05 raised to the 30 minus 1 divided by 0 0.05 and then 1 plus r on the right is going to be 1.05. So first let's simplify what we have in here. 1.05 raised to the 30th power that's 4.32194 with some other numbers added to it. We're going to subtract that by 1 which will give us 3.32194 and then divide that by 0 0.05. So right now we have 800,000 is equal to C times 66.4388475 times 
Now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to multiply those two numbers. So taking the answer that you now have, the 66.4388475, multiply that by 1.05. And so you should have 69.7607-8988. Now to calculate C, we need to divide both sides by this number. So C is going to be 800,000 divided by 69.7607-8988. So I got 11,467.76006. So that's how much money she needs to put into the account every year to calculate the monthly deposit that she needs to make, we need to divide this number by 12. So I'm going to put CM for month. So the monthly deposit that she needs to make is rounded to nearest cent, $955.65. This is really 0 .64667, but we're going to round it up to 65 cents. So if she deposits, let's say, $956 every month, and she could receive a fixed annual interest rate of 5%, at the end of 30 years, she will have saved up $800,000 in this annuity. So that's how you can calculate the amount of money that you need to put into an account every month in order to achieve a certain target goal or a certain account value in the future. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.